Today, I go over setting up how to get the measurements that are working now in the new blender to be in metric and millimeters and to set up the grid and everything. So that way it's easier to work with uh, actual unit measurements in blender. Anyway, stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Inventomark, and today I'm going to be going over getting the measurements set up for Blender, the uh, new version, the uh, units of measurement and everything. I think they've been, for the most part, fixed compared to what they were before in previous versions of Blender, like 2.77 and prior, but the 2.78 is uh, seems to be fixed, and... To change that, you need to go to the scene settings here. It's the third tab on the top there. And you go into the units and the unit presets, and you can change it to millimeters. Before, it just had didn't have the different units here. It had just a metric or imperial. But they've added all these in here, and they actually functionally work properly now. So you can change that to metric. So millimeters is what I like to work in personally for 3D printing especially. And metric, just make sure that's on metric and it changes everything. The scale looks all wonky here with the grid. You can't really see anything. And, and to fix that, what you need to do is go to the display option on the window here. It's a open and close that. That's the end button. This is basically the properties for whatever you're doing in the window here. And for any window that's open, that has an option to have the tool menu or that has a little end there. But you go to the display options here, and you can change the size, the scale of it, to match the unit scale that you're working on, which is 0 .001. So you want to go 0 .001, and you can change the scale to the local scale of millimeters. So now each one of these is a millimeter across on each thing so this whole thing is uh, one centimeter and what I actually like to do for 3D printing it works especially well is just make it actually no it's 1.6 centimeters just apologies but make it 200 lines so that way it's your basically your entire print bud is the whole grid for most printers depending on you have other printers if it's larger you can adapt that to, it has to be square, but so whatever close that fits. So whenever you're working on something now, it'll show the correct size here, and it automatically changes it to centimeters. I wish it kind of stay in millimeters, but that's one thing that could probably be changed. But So now if you create an object, let's say we want to make this 100 millimeters, you just type in a hundred and it changes it to centimeters automatically but it's still a hundred millimeters and basically shows like the size on the print bed the way you can see on there and it seems to work really well because if I wanted to just make this uh, just a 20 millimeter cube and I went to export it let's go to file export STL and selection only and just make this test cube and put my tutorials folder there and I actually go over to my 3D printing software and I can put that in there and I already made another one because it's testing out to see if it would work and it does and just open that up and let me click on the properties of it and it will show that it's 20 millimeters so it does work and it does export properly in the correct size and this print beds for my other printer it's like 450 by 450 millimeters so it's not the actual size compared to the cube but anyway so that does import properly and it does work and so to save that as your default, you just click on 
save startup file and I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete that cube I'm just gonna arrange this to where I want it and I'm gonna actually save this as my startup file to use from now on so so now whenever I create a new file it's gonna have that preset there so I can have the measurements that I want for everything to be preset and everything should work fine and it's basically the main thing besides the measurements working is the grid getting that to work properly and you can actually turn the grid off if you want turn that off turn the X and Y off or turn X Y and Z on so you can see all of those then there's relationship lines when you parent one object to another I haven't gone over that but that's for like other things you can have the world background be in the background where you're working on it like if you have a this is in cycles you can have it only be the object that you're working on and it'll show all the different object or origins as you're working let's say we add another thing here is the cube it'll show the origin when you're working with it and you want to make sure you keep that one outline selected so <laughs> you can keep an eye on what you're working on but all object origins that actually might be helpful if you're because sometimes you can't see certain objects you can kind of know where to click on it but anyway this is just kind of a quick short video today just to kind of show how to set everything up with the for 3d printing with blender now that they've kind of fixed everything with the uh, millimeter units and everything being kind of wonky before that actually correlates exactly across to millimeters to millimeters so you don't have to use the arbitrary blender file units that if you say something that's two by two it doesn't make a two by two millimeter it makes a two by two millimeter or vice versa if you make a 20 mil 20 millimeter cube and transfer it over to the program it makes a 0.2 millimeter cube so this way it actually works and hopefully everything can get set up correctly and that's pretty much it for today thanks for watching